Welcome back to the Coach's Corner. John Stenko of ICGales.com with Melissa Inouye, head coach of the Inner Softball team. Coach, tough weekend for you guys. couple losses at Riverdale to the Red Hot Manhattan Jaspers. What were your biggest takeaways from the weekend? Uh, it just kind of wasn't our day. You know, we just in all facets of the game didn't really um, come well for us. But, uh, you know, give credit to Manhattan. They played well this weekend by sweeping at Marist and then sweeping us as well. So just overall a tough day, but just kind of that's how the game is sometimes. You know, just might not have it on that day while someone is. So the good thing is I hope we get that out of the way now. What well, can you take some maybe some silver linings from the two games? You did have three home runs over the course of the two games. Is there anything positive you can take into this upcoming weekend? Yeah, you know, I think throughout the year we we would uh, we're hoping to be a little bit more consistent offensively, and I think you know if it, it, as long as it's coming at the right time of the year when it counts, and it was nice to see um, you know Haley, uh, Kimmy, and Jazz all, all all hit for some power this weekend against some pretty good pitching still. So uh, if anything, hopefully you know some confidence is going to get back in the bats, and uh, nice to see the long ball again. Well, the Gales had the day off yesterday. You returned to practice today. What do you want the mood to be when you get onto Donnelly Walsh Field this afternoon? Well, I get back to work, you know, grind things out. The the postseason or towards the end of the season, excuse me, is, is a lot harder than the middle and the beginning of the season. You know, it's the routine kind of maybe gets old for some people. The school is, schoolwork is piling up at the last uh, bit of classes and final exams. Um, but really just kind of enjoy it, you know, enjoy the game, enjoy the time together as a, as a team and with the coaches and, and the opportunity we have in front of us. What do you do as a head coach when these student athletes have so much going on in, at the beginning of May, the end of the semester, to make sure that they don't feel too much stress as the end of the season approaches and the end of the school year? You know, as far as practice-wise, you're kind of almost in a maintenance, um, you know, period of, of practice. You're not really trying to reinvent the wheel. Uh, just trying to have kids feel good, fresh bodies as much as possible, and keeping things nice and light. You know, that's why I try to bring my dog Brownie around practice quite a bit. I think they enjoy that, and maybe sometimes we'll bring an ice cream truck or two out to practice. <laughs> that's not a bad thing. So currently, you guys sit in fourth place in the standings. Are you scoreboard watching now for the rest of the regular season, or are you going to wait till that final weekend when all those games on Sunday come to an end? I mean, I've, I'd be lying if I'm saying we're not watching the scoreboard. But at the same standpoint, we control our own destiny, and 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 as long as we have games left to play, you know, we have an opportunity in front of us. Yeah, and the weekend in Western New York, you guys swept Canisius and Niagara last year, but they're different teams this year. What are the biggest differences you're looking forward to this upcoming weekend, taking on the Golden Griffs and Purple Eagles? You know, with no midweek game and then obviously playing on Sunday, there's a little bit of a uh, stall in between time with not playing a midweek game, but that's for a couple of different reasons. Fresh bodies to keep us fresh, um, academic load, uh, but really just kind of looking forward to playing again. And then if anything, you know, it's getting some uh, tough games under our belt. So you got, five, you got four regular season games left. What's the biggest area of improvement you want to see from your team before the postseason? Just getting back to what we are as a team, you know, um, playing for each other, um, uh, playing together, and doing the little things, execution, you know, um, pitching it well, defending it well, and getting some timely hits. Well, Poach, I wish you warm weather and best of luck this upcoming weekend. Go Gales.